Hey, this is Justin with Nemo Fishing. I'm in line at the elementary school, getting ready to pick up my kid. But I was thinking about this year's fishing in 2019, and um, this year's getting ready to wrap up. I'll be able to go a few more times. Hopefully I'll be able to catch some trout before the year's over. But uh, it's been a year of first for me, so I wanna show you some of those and highlight those. Hopefully you'll get a kick out of them as, uh, as much as I did. Uh, so enjoy. So for my first fish, I'm at the re-regulation dam, spillway, and the Salt River in Northeast Missouri. And I'm working a fluorescent orange, half ounce grub, just hoping to catch a decent walleye. Now, I'm not a cat fisherman, uh, not proficient in the least. Most catfish I catch by accident. I'm using bass tackle, spinning tackle, medium action rod with 10 pound test. So when this flatty grabs my grub, I'm like, what is this? It's heavy. Uh, my drag starts growling, the rod is bent, and uh, it's on. I know it's not a bass because it's not coming to the surface and I don't know maybe a maybe a huge drum uh, or one of those Asian carp next thing I know the weight is still there but there's no more pull and I'm like did I just get hung up on the rocks what's going on no I can still feel the fish a little something's there so now I have to try to pull this fish out of the boulders with 10 pound test mono, hoping not to break off. So I get the fish out and it starts pulling a little drag again and it's making a run and I'm fighting it. I finally haul it to the surface and I'm like, nice, gorgeous, flathead. It's not huge, I know that, but I'm using spinning tackle, bass fishing gear, so this is a fun fish. Flathead, big flatty. So the fight's not over because he's flipping and flopping and I'm hoping I didn't compromise the integrity of my mono line in the rocks with a nick or a cut and I'm just hoping to keep the nose up and thankfully the fish is starting to tire out or at least relax a little bit. <clears throat> For some reason, I think, I'll just lean up against this ledge behind me, except it's not there. And I fall flat on my butt. I'm talking life alert. And I can't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> I finally pull it up the steps, reach down and grab it behind the shoulders, and I'm like, this is awesome. I know it's not huge, but this is my first decent flathead caught on a rod and reel, and it's just a beautiful fish. And I gotta take some time to enjoy it. Look at this gorgeous flathead. Ah, flatty. He's not huge. Of course, then there's the release. And I put it in the water, it explodes out of my hands, soaks me up to my knees, and that's the catch. This is why I go fishing. This is why I fish. It is so fun. I'm gonna put them back. There you go. <laughs> Now the second fish actually represents a couple subspecies, stripers and wipers. Stripe bass and hybrid 
Wiper White Rock Bass. Uh, I've caught both this year. They're fun to catch. They fight strong like white bass, except they're bigger. So they're fun to catch. Here I'm at Lock and Dam number 22 near Saverton, Missouri on the Mississippi River. It's late in the year. I'm fishing for anything that will bite. Using a little slip bobber, a little fluorescent jig head with a Berkeley gulp minnow. Just letting it sit and jig with the wind and the current there, seeing what will bite. I could tell it was a bass when it hit, but I wasn't sure what kind. And then I saw it, and I just assumed that it was a healthy white bass. That's what it looked like in the water. Nice white bass. But then I reel it in, and I'm unhooking it, and I see the stripe pattern is a little different than white bass, and the coloration, and and the, the, the shape of the fish is just a little bit different, and I'm wondering if it's actually a small striped bass. I'll take it. So when I got home, I started doing a little bit of research to try to identify those, because I've never caught them before. And sure enough, this is a small striped bass. And I'm like, that's cool. Whoa, calm it down, buddy. Calm it down. Let's let him go over here on the rocks. There you go. Come on, come on. I also ended up catching some wipers this year and they are really, really fun to catch. One of my new favorite species. So uh, I'm looking forward to 2020 catching some more white bass, some more striped bass and some more wipers uh, because they are fun fish to catch. Come on, quit being a turd. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. See you later. For my last fish, we go back to the re-regulation spillway. And on this hot, rainy, muggy spring day, we go back there and it is full bore rolling. Now you look at that water and you think, there is no way I'm going to catch anything in there but actually it can turn the bite on. So I'm throwing a bright green uh, Danielson spoon just to see what, what I might be able to hook. Sure enough, I hook up and it starts pulling line. My drag is growling, uh, it is a heavy, fish and I notice it's turning towards the current and a heavy strong fish is one thing but a heavy strong fish in current is asking for trouble and about that time is when I ask what the heck is this thing Now, I'm secretly hoping it's a big catfish or a huge walleye uh, or something pretty cool, right? Either way, I want to land it. This fish is now in the current. So I jump onto the boulders. I've got the rod above my head. I'm reeling in the slack, but trying to keep some pressure on the fish. I feel like I'm Jeremy Wade chasing that river monster downstream. In my head, that's who I am.
and I'm gonna turn off the music and if you turn the sound up really loud or you have headphones, you can actually hear my heartbeat on the GoPro because it's right next to my heart. It breaks the surface and sure enough, my suspicions are confirmed. They're a nasty, destructive, invasive species, but I still want to land it. So I haul it in and I can add it to my list of species that I've caught this year. I ended up catching four of those fish this year, Asian carp. Three of them I threw to the buzzards because they are invasive and destructive. But I have to admit, they are fun to hook and catch. They're heavy, they're strong, and I bet they would be an absolute blast to fish with a bow, to bow fish. But anyway, it was new for me, so it was pretty fun.